What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video on how to create a pop-up dialogue fragments using Kotlin in Android Studio. So in this mini tutorial, you and I is going to build something really useful and often seen in apps nowadays. So a pop-up dialogue fragment could be used in many situations, especially if you want to stay in your activity or the current fragment that you are in. So if you are in one activity or fragment and you can have a button that the user can interact with it. So if the user wants to rate your app, they can click on that and and then a pop-up will appear. As you can see, we have many ratings. The user can pick one of these and then either they can click on cancel to cancel the rating or they can actually submit the rating and the data will be submitted to a different activity or even to the database. So if this is what you want to build, I've got your back and let's get started on coding. So first you need to create a new project and then click on empty activity, then next and then name your app and then click on finish. All right, so once you have created your app, you need to create a dialog fragment. So all you need to do is to go to Java and then right click on your package, then new, and then Kotlin file, and then name your class, and then click on enter. And once you have the file, and then you need to go to your resources and then layout, and then right click on that, and then create a new layout resource file, and then name your file. And once you have done that, just click on okay. And now we need to create the layout for our dialogue fragment. So just close that for a moment and switch to split screen so that we can write our code here. All right, so first we need to create a title for our dialogue fragment, and then we need to create five radiant buttons and then two primary buttons where we can cancel or submit our data. So let's do that. So we need to create a text view and then the width will be wrap content and then the height will be wrap content as well. Do not forget to provide an ID for it. And then you need to add a text for it and the text would be your writing matters. And then we need to add a text size of 26 SP. And then we need to put some constraints on this text so that we align it in the middle. So constraints top to the top of parent and then constrain right to the right of parent and then constrain left to the left of parent. And we need to have a margin top of 30 dp, so margin top of 30 dp. Now we need to create five radio buttons for our ratings. But first we need to wrap radio buttons into radio group. So radio group and the width would be 40 dp and the height would be wrap content. And we need to provide an ID for it. So ID, ID and then writing radio group. And then we need to specify the orientation of the app. So we need to have a vertical one and then we need to add some padding to it. So 25 dp and then we need to set some constraints so that we align it into the center. So constraints top to the bottom of the ID of rating header text view. And then we need to add some constraints left to the left of parent and then constraints right to the right of parent as well. And this is it. And now we need to create a few radio buttons here. So radio button and then go with wrap content and then wrap content as well. Provide an ID for our button. And this one is excellent radio button. And we need to provide a text to our radio button and then excellent. And this is it for our excellent radio button. You just need to create four more radio buttons. So just copy this and paste it down below and change this to very good and change the text as well. So very good. And then paste it one more time and then change this to good and then change this to good as well. And then paste it one more time and change this to satisfactory and change this to satisfactory as well. And the last radio button would be for poor and then change this to poor as well. All right, guys, so once you have done this, we need to add two more buttons, one for cancel and one for submit. All right, so we need a button and then wrap content, wrap content as well. We need to provide an ID and the ID would be cancel button. And then we need to add a text to it, so cancel. And then we need to specify a color, so background tint, and then you can go with the primary, but you can change the color to something like um, this would be great. And then you need to change the text color, so text color to um, white. And then you need to add some constraints so that you can push it from here to there. So let's add constraints top to the bottom of the ID of writing radio group. 
and then you need to add constraints left to the left of parent and then you need to add some margin left of 25 dp and then it would be a good idea if you add a margin bottom of 25 dp as well and once you have done that you need one more button to submit our data so button and then wrap content wrap content add an id to it so an id of um, submit button and then add a text to it so so the text would be submit and then change the color and the color could be actually something like that great and then you need to change the color text to white and then you need to add some constraint to it so that you push it from here to there so constraint top to the bottom of actually the same rating uh, radio group and then you need to set constraint right to the right of parent and then you need to add a margin right of 25 dp and then margin bottom of 25 dp as well all right so once you have done that all you need to do is to go to activity main.xml and in here you can actually change the hello world to wake me so you can change this to to rate me and then you can increase the text size to 24 sp and then you can add an id to it so the id would be rate me text view and once you have done that you need to go to main activity .kotlin. and in here you need to set on click listener to the rate me text view so rate me text view dot on click listener and then you need to create an object of the fragment custom dialog so and you will call it dialog and then we will set it to custom dialog fragment all right so once you have created the dialog object you need to go to custom dialog fragment and this is where you need to extend the dialog fragment all right so once you have done that you need to override the method on create view so on create um, view and here you just remove this return and then you need to create a root view object and then we will set it to view and then inflator and then you need to inflate it so you need to have the resource dot layout dot choosing the fragment that you have so custom dialog and then you need to set the container and then pick false for attached to the root so once you have that you need to return the root view so if you go back to main activity dot kotlin and here you can actually call a um, show method on the dialog object and then we need to have um, support a fragment manager and then we need to add a tag to it so custom um, dialog once you have done that you can actually test your app so let's run our app all right guys so we have the app so if you click on rate me as you can see, we were able to inflate our dialog fragment here, but we cannot interact with these buttons because we have not set on click listener to them. So in here, you can actually access the ID of the cancel button with the root view object. So root view dot cancel uh, button, and then you can set on click listener to that. So once you have done that, you need to call a dismiss function. This would actually close the dialog fragment. So we need to have one more um, on click listener for our submitting button. So root view dot um, submit button, then we set on click listener to that as well. And in here we need to get the ID of the selected radio button. So we need to identify which one of these radio button has been selected. So let's do that. So val selected ID. And then that would equal to rating radio group. So the group that we have, and then there is check radio button ID, and this will return the ID of the radio button. And then we need to access the radio button itself. So radio, and then equal that to the root view. And then we need to call on find view by ID, and that would be radio button actually. So button, and then you need to pass the selected ID to that. So once you have done that, you need to store the value of the radio button. So rating result, and that would have the radio itself. And then we need to go to the text and then we need to change that to string. So to string. And once you have the result, you can show it anywhere. In this case, we can show it to the toast notification message. So make text and then context. And then our text would be you rated and then you can pass the variable rating result and then toes dot and the length would be long and then we need to show the message so once you have showed the message you need to actually close the dialog fragment by calling the dismiss function all right guys i think this is it so to see the result we need to run our app one more time so if you click on rate me and if you click on excellent and then submit it as you can see we were able to submit our result 
All right, guys, so you have made it. Congratulations. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn on how to build mobile applications, web development, and programming tutorials in general, please consider subscribing and click on the bell notification so that you do not miss on anything. And see you guys in the next video. Happy coding.